which I like to think is Detroit. But, Question. Yeah. Who run Gotham City? Because it sure as fuck ain't Batman, okay? <laughs> I'm trying try to tell you that right now. It ain't Batman. And welcome back to the Morning Roast, ladies and gentlemen. The podcast where we talk about all the types of coffee beans, what sets them apart, and what can set your day off on the right foot. I am your host, Chad Tibadeo, and let's get started. I've got some Arabica beans on the pot, and later on today, I'm going to go on out there and get some Robusta beans. Let's see where my day goes with those two. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> now we fucking with y'all. Welcome back to the third episode, third episode of the Ted Ned Show. I am your host, Ed. And I'm your host, Teddy at TNB Ted knows me. There we go. All righty. So if you guys have been following us this long, I want to personally thank you. Uh, because if you guys were we keep doing this, I enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoy listening to it half as much as we love playing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've been you getting know. some. We've been getting some numbers too. I've been seeing it. We going worldwide. You know, yeah. shout out Australia, shout, shout out, out Ireland, shout out Ireland, shout out Thailand. You know, yeah, you feel we me out here. Mm-hmm. Shout out South Africa. You know, free money get from the ops. You feel me? Free. Shout em. out America. You know, we got it like that. We got it. We got it. We got something. We got exactly. coke. That's what we got. So, um, we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna let let you guys in on. What we're going to be doing for this episode today, we're going to be talking about a couple things, mm-hmm. a couple as topics, far, you know, as far as the daily thing goes with every episode, we're going to tell you about the music and films we are watching. Uh, the, we are, oh, we stream and streaming, nope. stream and streaming. Exactly. So Not we just don't streaming. Let, we stream and streaming. Got to let them know. Two words. Exactly. Syllables. <laughs> Add them on. Stack them up. Stack them against up. you. You homophone. It, there it is xylophone Bam. <laughs> so we're gonna um let you guys know what we've been watching this week what we've been listening to this week and anything that hasn't came out yet that we're looking forward to or that we find highly anticipating after that we're gonna jump into you know one of the big things that this country's been waiting for mm-hmm. playoffs mm. we'll have to talk about it we'll i got to talk about I, this i got something to say Yep, see, I know you do. I'm I'm ready to get into that one. Get into it. After that, we're gonna have a see this one might rub some people the wrong way, but it's gonna be a bit of a debate, a heated one at that. Mm-hmm. Hot. Over two different factions, if you will. You know, stay with me here on the podcast and you're gonna find out what those two groups are. Stay and of with me. course, at the end, we're gonna have the weekly rant of the week where the Ted Mosby and myself talk about the thing that's kind of grinding our gears you know mm-hmm. messing with us off getting uh, off the chest getting stuff yeah. off the chest you know let it off yeah exactly gotta bounce it off the pectorals <laughs> so um before we do jump into it i would like it if we can just take a moment of silence for those that has been affected by the explosion i don't want to call it a bombing but it was definitely an explosion that happened in uh yeah Beirut, Beirut. lebanon yeah, it's it's crazy. And all I've seen all those like all those videos and images and different angles of it is kind of crazy, you know. It is very crazy. Yeah. For that to even happen, like to rock all your senses like that. Mm-hmm. So if we can just take at least about 15 seconds starting right now of silence for those people. Alrighty, and there we are. You know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Our prayers are definitely out to those people in the Bay Room. Yeah, most definitely. Scary situation. Scary to be in a situation like that. Very horrible. Um. Also, on a bit of a, a lighter note. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A couple of days ago, I want to say two days ago was mm-hmm. Nipsey Hussle's birthday. Oh, okay. Nip, you know, nip. So, so a good shout out, a happy C day to the homie Nip. Happy C day. So no, don't be a lot of... can't, can't say B day. We know. No, when Nip, Nip is like the only person that I'm gonna say fucking C day. 
this is the only time I've ever said C. Exactly. So I that's do... that's I we re- put the respect with him. Exactly. You know, gang banging dudes just all all out and about. We ain't it's your birthday, sir. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you know. Until Happy you birthday, have some developments and, and stuff to up, uplift the youth, <laughs> then it's, a it's best birthday, sir. <laughs> you don't get born day yet. It's it's a cookie, sir. It's not a bookie, <laughs> sir. Anyways. Yeah, so, you know, shout out to the homie Nip, putting a lot of niggas on about business and black ownership, ownership in general. Mm-hmm. I love that. I hope the people that he was around and spreading that knowledge to does take it and um, uplift themselves into better, more prosperous yeah. living That's what you're trying to do. That's what you're trying to do. No. Yeah. So uh, with that all done, let's get into it. Let, let's start with the we streaming, streaming. Okay. Last week, I believe I went first. So, Ted, go ahead. You got the floor. You got the mm-hmm. floor, man. Let them all know. Right. The floor is open. Right. Okay. So what what I have been personally streaming, streaming. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, honestly, everybody's probably streaming. As you know, Big Goat, the Goat, Drizzy Drake just dropped. Mm. Okay, we getting we got we got an album title confirmed. We got the new single out. Mm. Video out. Twenty million views in like three days. So yeah, I'm definitely banging that new Drake. Uh, what is it called? Laugh now, cry later. Mm-hmm. The 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 horns, the everything on that song, the bars, he just giving bars. I mean, and that's what Drake do. You know, he know how to make a little a little uh little thing catchy, just saying, baby, that make it catchy, you know. That was amazing too. I know. <laughs> but the video, like, yeah, the videos are hilarious, all the athlete cameos, uh, they're hilarious. It's just a Nike commercial, it's a one big Nike commercial, I think. I never thought of it like that. Yeah, you know, it's just a big right. Nike commercial. And they they definitely pay him too. So I mean, no, it was good. <laughs> it was real good. Um, so yeah, I've definitely been listening to the Drake. I'm also listening to this new Dolph. Oh this, this new young Dolph. I didn't know he had some. He just shit. dropped the he just dropped a new little album and it's fire. A bunch of songs I added on the playlist. You gotta have it on on your, your daily driver, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. so yeah, definitely listening to that uh young Dolph. I think it's called Rich Slave or something like that. Um, oh, okay. I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. I'm looking. Yeah, it's, no, it's real good. Yeah, that album is good. Dolph just being Dolph. Um, but especially with music too, I've been liking. I've been loving like making playlists like lately. Mm-hmm. Um, like I've been talk about making it. making my own. You know, something that that I like listen to every day and listen to um, on the on the way to work, coming mm-hmm. back wherever. Yeah. I listen to that one. Um, like pretty much all the time, and then I'm I may have one specifically for specific genres or specific uh, people. Like one of them is called Black as King, and that one is just full of like black songs that you would probably hear at a cookout or yeah. just black artists in general. Um, just you know, throw my support where support is due. Cause y'all we always supporting black. Yeah, you black in this mug. Hmm. <laughs> um and. Yeah, so if you definitely want to take a look at those playlists, they'll always be on my Instagram, uh, on my story, and probably in my uh, in my bio, pretty much. So, yeah, check those out. Give those a little tappity tap. There you go. Uh, um, as far and then as far as the the, the visuals, the movies, television mm-hmm. shows, um, TV shows. Surprisingly, I did not watch really anything new this week. Um, I've been just watching The Office, you know, watching YouTube videos. Of course. Yeah, I haven't. You know, the TV shows I haven't really, haven't really gone branched out too much. Ever since Ozark ended, I've been looking for you know that one drama to to watch, but I ain't I ain't found it yet. Somebody tell me, y'all, y'all tweet at me, y'all Instagram me, y'all do something to me. Tell me, Fine. tell me what to watch. You know, I need it. Yeah. But as far as movies, movies, I watched uh, last night. I watched uh, for the first time Jojo Rabbit. Give him the Oscar. Give him the Oscar. It was amazing. The uh, Jojo Rabbit's on uh, HBO Max, and it's about like a, um, it's basically about nineteen the World War Two and living in Germany in, like the nineteen forties. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's really the main character is a kid and he's a fanatic Nazi, so he's just growing up. He grew up with all that propaganda and looked up to Hitler and stuff like that. Really? Yeah, and it's about him being his mother having a Jewish girl in the house, in the attic. 
and he kind of finds out and and it's basically just that's pretty much what the story is about but but it's a comedy it's really really funny they turned that into a comedy. All wow. right. So so you, you have to imagine the lines they gotta tiptoe with with um you know not being too over the line, not being too far off. Yeah. So yeah, it's a it's hilarious. And I loved watching it. It was the how the actresses actors and actresses were so good. Um Taika Waititi, he's the one mm-hmm. that did Thor Ragnarok, and I think he's doing the upcoming Batman movie. He uh wrote it, okay. he starred in it, and he directed it. And oh, he won man. the he won the Oscar last year for best adapted screenplay. So yeah, he he's he's making he's doing big things. So yeah, it's uh it's really good. I, it was hilarious. I think you should definitely watch it. Oh, I'm um, definitely gonna watch that. That yeah. reminds me of uh, the boy in the striped pajamas. Yeah, well, that one's way more. But that one was yeah okay. Yeah, that yeah. was way more serious. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this one comedy. I was like, no, okay. this one's hilarious, and that's where you kind of like I first heard about or like wondered like how is this a comedy Mm -hmm. you know because you know it's about nazis and stuff like especially in this climate but yeah no it was really good hbo max if you want to watch that i highly highly recommend it Mm, okay that's what's up but yeah that's what i'm that's what i'm uh i've been going down the stream that's what i've been streaming but uh what what about you edward what about you, okay. Mr. Well, Dead Nemesis? Mine is a bit of the opposite. I haven't oh, been listening to too much music. Oh, here we go, boys. Uh, Rack them up. The only thing I really have been jumping in on is mm-hmm. Amine's new album, Limbo. No, I haven't and, listened to the album. I listened to that song, though. What is that, Riri? That uh, song was dope. That's one of them. I mean, the, the single that he... Well, not single, but... The song that he rolled out with as the hit was uh, "Compensating." Yeah, yeah, young the Thugger song. Uh-huh. Yeah, love it. Love the video. The video is crazy. It's they they start out on a tennis court for one people, just so y'all know. <laughs> and the first conversation to be had is, I quote, "You know, NBA young boy had more hoes and money than Jesus." Oh, for sure. End quote. <laughs> After that, I was all like. What, what you are got we talking me. about? Yeah, okay, me. now I got to see what y'all talking about. Exactly. That's the hook right there. <laughs> right there. So um, as far as music go, that, that's where I've been at with it. I'm looking forward to an artist by the name of Black Bear releasing an album called Everything Means Nothing. He always has some mm. type of different sound with every one of his uh albums, and mm-hmm. I kind of I enjoy most of them. Some some of the songs I don't rock with, but as a collective, I like his albums. I always find them to be very good, very entertaining, with good beats at the end too. Yeah. Mm, okay. Now, as for film, film. shows, shows, oh, I've been all over it now. Mm, all over it. Okay. So I'm halfway done with Ozark season three. Mm, halfway? It's crazy. Yes. And just to let the people know that's listening, we drop an episode every week. Ozark every week. has about 13 one-hour episodes mm-hmm. every season. Mm-hmm. So every time we bring out an episode, I'm I'm burning through a season of Ozark. Yeah. By the next episode, I'm going to be done. Oh, my. Most likely by the end of this week, I'm going to mm. be done. But that's just Ozark. That's just you know? Yeah, that's, that's my drama right there. <laughs> I've also been watching... The Last Dance. Oh. Funny story about The Last Dance. Great, great documentary. Amazing. It's a, yep, yeah, as Ted said, it's a documentary about Michael Jordan and his time with the Bulls, but it really focuses on, uh, what was that, the 97, 98 season? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, it spotlights everything, right? but it, it, it really brings it up to a full circle, or I, I'm going to say end at the 97, 98. Mm-hmm. The thing about that, it, the thing about this entire show was when it first came out, I didn't care too much for it. I was going to wait until the entire documentary was done and then I was going to watch it. Mm. It ended. I found out it's on ESPN Plus, And of course, there's this up and coming company by the name of Disney. They had a, a bit of a deal with. ESPN Plus, you know, 
a little they, bit. Of you know, they they helping them out. You know, shouts out to Disney. They they trying. They getting there. They getting mm-hmm, there. Mm-hmm. So the bundle deal is, I want to say fifteen, maybe seven, fifteen to seventeen dollar range for Disney, mm-hmm. ESPN Plus. Yep, and Hulu Plus. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. The trio. I get it, and I'm like, all right, cool. I'm about to burn through the documentary. As I'm downloading ESPN Plus, there is a problem. I need a actual cable provider for this goddamn documentary. Really? Yes. So you can just sign in naturally. That's a no. That's a no. no. They wanted a cable provider. Hmm. I don't have a cable provider because I don't have cable. Um, it is 2020. Yeah, exactly. I, I got thing. streaming networks. Now I mm-hmm. do have. Uh, Spectrum. I got Spectrum Wi-Fi. I don't do Spectrum cable because all the networks that I want to watch, they got an app. Mm-hmm. I'd rather pay that five, ten dollars for that network than a hundred and seventy-eight dollars a month. Like true story, that's what I used to pay about three years ago um, at my mom's house. Damn. And once I moved Steep. out, that was the biggest move right there. That was the best move right there. Yeah, and I showed them. This is how much I've saved. So, people, if you're into that documentary, if you're into Michael Jordan or basketball in general, but you do not have a cable provider, do not waste your time because it was a bitch and a half. Mm -hmm. Go through Disney's website, then go Mm. through Hulu's website, then go Mm. through ESPN's website. Find a way to unsubscribe to ESPN Plus, but still keep Disney Plus and Hulu Plus with no ads because I'm done with the ads, okay? Oh, you rich. Cut me a check and I'll give you an ad. You, so, you rich. Yeah, you know, that. that's that's just the, the second one. The third and last one, I'm going to end it on this one, is Netflix. They keep coming out. They killing me. They done released The Legend of Korra, y'all. Oh, hell. There it is. Right there. If you guys don't know what The Legend of Korra is, it is the sequel to the Nickelodeon hit show slash cartoon, slash anime, depending on who you ask. Mm -hmm. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Mm. A lot of people don't really like Korra as much. I heard the, I heard the, uh, the, uh, M. Night Shyamalan version was pretty good too. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. Um, whatever drug you're taking, can you get me about (laughs) three mason jars worth? (laughs) I don't even care about the price. I mean, don't what, even care that's about what I heard. That's what you know. My sources tell me. I want to live in that world. That's oh. the world I want to be in. Oh, okay. You, yeah. Kind of like the kind of like how good the uh live action Dragon Ball Z movie was. That was pretty good too, right? Oh yeah. Let me get five mason jars <laughs> worth of whatever pill, liquid, or herbal construct you're uh-huh. taking. You know, I mean, you know, you know, film. You know, the crew did a wonderful job. You know. They showed up to work. It was on. They were on time. The crew should have a death by firing squad. Karen brought the bananas. (laughs) Why would she bring bananas? Josh brought the peanut brittle. You know, they all showed up. You know, people showed up to work on those films. (laughs) And Chad Tippadale brought the coffee. (laughs) (laughs) And Chad Tippadale brought the coffee. It was Arabica too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh man. But oh uh, yeah, I enjoyed The Legend of Korra. Yeah. I think it was a pretty good sequel. I don't think it's better than Avatar The Last Airbender, but I don't think it deserves the shit that it's been getting throughout. Yeah, it does get a lot. It does get a lot of hate. It gets yeah. a lot. Yeah, being I mean, I'm like kind of watching Avatar too. I'm still in the first season, but mm-hmm. I've been um because I never watched it when I was younger. And mm, okay. um I've watched I was watching it and it was pretty good. It's really good. But yeah, every time I hear about it, every time I hear something about Korra, Legend of Korra, it's always something negative someone says. And, yeah. And you know, I'm I'm gonna jump know. in on that later. Mm-hmm. Uh quick question though, jump before in. we move on mm-hmm. to the bulk of this. Have you met Uncle Iroh, Zuko's uncle. Mm, no, is he the big guy? Is he like the shorter old man chunkier? with the beer maybe? Belly? I th- I think so. Okay, is he funny? Um, he's funny, but he's act and he's very like enlightened and very like wise. He's like a wise old man 
he just happens to be in the Fire Nation, and you know, yeah, where I'm at is like the Fire Nation in the very first season, like just saw anger, like just found out about anger or something like that. Oh, okay, so yeah, you first couple episodes, and yeah, you're gonna learn some stuff, but I'm pretty sure the people who've watched Avatar they know the episode I'm talking about whenever I refer to Iroh, but he has an episode about um his like daily life in the earth kingdom. Mm -hmm. And it's a very good episode. It was well-written. Let me know when you get to that. Okay. And and then I'll let you know, there's a, a a nice little fun fact about the episode itself and the guy who voices uncle Iroh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, Okay. Now, Let's you know, let's let's move on to the next one, to the big thing right here. Mm. NBA playoffs are back. Playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. NBA playoffs. They back. Mm-hmm. They we 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 out here in the bub. You know what I'm saying? Getting getting dubs in the bub. Exactly. That's what you got to do. Uh, shout Bunch out to Bell McGee names. for. Uh, for copywriting that because I think that's what he said. Ooh. But Javel McGee <laughs> <laughs> getting dubs, in yeah, the getting, he got a dub and a bub, uh, the first dub and the bub, or something like that. But yeah, yeah, sports and uh, sports, sports are slowly starting to come back in the world of coronavirus, and yeah, it's 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 been interesting to say the least. I mean, NBA right now, it, like, kind of has it on lock. You know, having a, a literal bubble, not a literal bubble, but a uh, bubble per se in Orlando where, That's you know, to talk about. Yeah. No one really goes in and no one goes out. It's kind of like if you do go in or like if you come out from the bubble or something like that, then you yep. have to come back. You have to quarantine for about 10 more days and yep. get tested every day to make sure that, OK, you're definitely negative. So you can be in our in the bubble and you can just walk around kind of freely kind of making our own closed society almost in a way yeah it's crazy just so you guys know there is no they're at the what what is it disney world in florida i think so yeah in orlando yeah there's like a little resort Uh uh-huh the um the espn something but yeah mm -hmm, they're out there so that's where this is at people now when i was first told about this bubble i wanted to see what type of bubble it was because the first thing i thought of was oh jeff bezos must have made the bubble hmm. he he got his hand in his money pot somewhere i don't know why hmm. he has nothing to do with nba exactly nothing to do with disney no he's over there he's delivering uh exactly. delivering covid tests in two days i <laughs> knew it i knew it i knew he had something to do well jeff i mean just out here jeff just out here that's what he's doing he's making money if money is to be made jeff is there Exactly. So I thought there was an actual bubble. Yeah, People, there is there is no literal bubble. It's no giant plastic dome. Breaking but news. one thing you must not forget mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. these two things. What's there that? is no actual bubble. Mm-hmm. And the bubble rules all. <laughs> and the bubble rules all. The bubble is law. Oh okay. You appreciate the bubble. These NBA players have been wanting to play f- basketball almost messed up right there for the longest. Mm-hmm. And you know, you know what they got to do? Ted, go ahead and tell them who, who do they have to call first to see if it's okay to play basketball? Uh, the Ghostbusters. Nope. God damn it. <laughs> we got to call LeBron. Oh yeah. Well, you got to talk to Brian. Gotta yeah. Talk. This wouldn't, this wouldn't even be happening if LeBron didn't, uh, didn't sign off on this. So, uh, so yeah, he signed off. We're good. Everybody he wants to win a championship and then we're all good. Keep in mind, but yeah. Commissioner of NBA is a guy by the name of Adam Silver. But no, he had a he had we to gotta to talk to LeBron. LeBron. Yeah, we yeah. Talk to LeBron first. Exactly. Do anything. Um, one thing I have enjoyed though is I've started watching a lot more basketball than I usually do. Mm-hmm. Because I'm starting uh Damian Lillard once said something recently. I want to say mm-hmm. in the past two weeks. I don't want mm-hmm. you guys to think this is like a two-year-old thing but Mm -hmm. when he was asked about you know the win that he had that night the uh interviewer follow uh i'm so sorry the interviewer continued to say how do you feel about this he's like this means nothing to me 
I got to keep going. I I want the I want the finals. I want the MVP spot. I want the championship. Yeah. We wanted to play basketball so much, and they're finally giving us a chance to. I'm not here to play games. No, exactly. More. This is this is all business. I'm here to win. Yeah. Before, I mean, he was gonna boycott the bubble before if he like wasn't in contentions for a playoff spot. Uh huh. Because at first, some of their plans was to bring everybody there and just have every everybody play. But yeah. he was like, "Well, if I'm not in contention for a spot, then I'm not Playing. even going to play. Like, why? Why would I even show up?" Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, he dropped like what fifty five, fifty seven, or something the other night, and I think he's yeah. the uh, the bubble MVP. Yeah, but but you know, but he's in the playoffs. They they face LeBron in the first round, so we'll see. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a tough tough test for uh, the Lakers. I can tell you that right yeah, now. Yeah, and what are they? The eighth seed? Not the yeah. Lakers. I'm talking Portland. Yeah, the trail the Trailblazers. Yeah, they, the eighth seed. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, they're they out here. They got they got a, a one and two with uh, Damian Lillard and uh, C.J. McCollum. They they nasty. They got oh, they got a squad. It. They got a squad. I'm also going to shine some light on this thing right here. This same topic, but there's a certain player that had a bit of backlash. Or I'm sorry, just shit tossed at him. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of tweets going on saying Carmelo Anthony is washed. He should retire. Oh, Why is thanks. he even here? No. He's not part no. of the older generation. First Terrible. Of all, Terrible. He was dropping threes to the point where he got 30 points in mm. a game about four nights ago. Stop playing. Yeah, that's, that's second. Mellow. That's what 17 he years ago, he was in the league with LeBron. What older generation are they talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Everybody thought he was washed up. He was this and that. He kept going everywhere from after New York. He went to Atlanta and then Atlanta like signed and traded him a day later. Mm-hmm. And he went to like the Grizzlies or something. I don't know where, but. Yeah. yeah, it's just crazy. It's, I don't, and then he go, lands in Trailblazers and is like, you know, efficient. So mm-hmm. I don't know why people are, you know, thinking that he doesn't deserve a chance or is too washed or something. I mean, he's out here, you know, out here getting it. You he's know, he's scoring points. He's still averaging double digits, some, you know. So I mean, I'm I hope going he if I feel ring. like going. Yeah. yeah, I hope he does too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This that's somebody you do want to see you and you know get a ring. They, I mean, he's been in the. Leave for probably like 15 years or something. I don't know. I looked I into it. It was 17. 17? Yeah. Yep. I remember him on like NBA Live like 05. Because I remember it, lo- it rhymed and I remember Carmelo was on the cover. What was that? Denver Nuggets, Carmelo? Yeah, Nuggets yep. with the with the corn rolls. Ooh, Man. My boy was swiggy. <laughs> the fuck? Got the drip before it was a drip. Drip. The drippy. But yeah, I'm I'm loving I, I love the hunger that I'm starting to see more, mm-hmm. especially since this is looked at as more of a I want to say a, a privilege, maybe a luxury, as opposed to like, oh, it's my job. You know, I got drafted, I gotta do a job. Yeah. Now it's like, oh wait, we can we can go now. Oh, cool. I'm about to ball the fuck out. Exactly. Here we go. You know, we got people Carmelo Anthony, Damian Lillard, LeBron, of course. My personal favorite on the Lakers is Kazuya. But y'all oh like to God. call him Kuzma. His oh name is God. Kazuya. Stop playing. Cause Stop. Kyle, uh, Kuzma did hit like a clutch um, game winner the other night, too. Of course he did. Kazuya, you know, he, he had it to Mishima Zaibatsu. He don't even oh know it God. yet. He just don't Not know it Mishima yet. Zaiba. Mishima he Zaibatsu. If he gets the devil gene tattooed on him. Oh, my God. In reality, I'm losing my shit. Ignore him, people. <laughs> That's it. I'm Please losing my shit. Him. <laughs> but you know, it's these are a couple just to name a few. You know, of course, LeBron, Giannis yeah. out here. Giannis was about to get into a fight. I've rarely seen that. Oh, yeah, he hit by the homeboy. I was like, yeah. what happened, Giannis? Yeah. I, I was like, damn, Giannis, you pissed off now, huh? Okay. He's mad. His ass. He's mad. You know, got people, Donovan Mitchell start coming up. Fred D-Mitch. Van Vliet, you know, they they letting you know. We I'm here. I'm <laughs> yeah, D Mitch did uh Mitchell just scored uh 57 tonight, but he lost. And OT to the to the Nuggets, so yeah, it's gonna be some good games. It's gonna be some good games, but very. But yeah, just outside of the bubble though, there's there's other sports trying to come out, trying to take place. Let's talk about it. Yeah, like kind of like soccer, for example. They're they're doing the same exact thing. You know, they're not not mm-hmm. necessarily a bubble, but you know, no allowing no audience in the stands. Everyone 
um, on the benches, you know, social distancing, six feet apart. Yeah. Um, they, you know, they're taking precautions just like everything else. And and the Champions League is still on right now. So right now we got PSG with Neymar and and uh, Kylian Mbappe with, going up against uh, uh, Lyon. I think it's Olympic Lyon. I think they're both French teams in the uh, Champions League semifinal. So what the Champions League is, is basically like mm-hmm. all the teams, because you know how soccer is a worldwide sport and each country got their own league. Like they yeah. everybody got their own NBA. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Basically, it's taking all those teams from their own NBA and making them put them on the world stage and putting them in a tournament and figuring out who's the best team. Okay, I got questions. Is the Lakers better than, you know, the Madrid ballers out in Madrid? Yes, they are. But, you know, that's how you figure it out. <laughs> oh, so they're not bringing the, the teams in like one country together and making it a big ass team. They're just taking the actual teams from the country and making them go against other teams from other leagues in the country. Yeah. OK, then my question was answered because my question was going to be what makes this any different from the World Cup? Yeah, uh, it's basically like the World Cup, but with club soccer, with team with um your yeah. professional team pretty it's much. not like we're getting the best players in germany and you're gonna rep right germany. yeah right 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 it's like yeah. we're getting all the germany teams mm-hmm. and they're going to go play against europe and france okay got it. right mm-hmm. oh so psg has the opportunity paris saint germain has the mm-hmm. opportunity to play like barcelona or something because normally they wouldn't play because they're in two whole different leagues mm, okay yeah oh, so now so i think now it's PSG and Olympic Lyon, which is um, they're both French teams, so they both played each other before, and now they're both in the Champions League semifinal, which is crazy. Really? Yeah. So you get a chance to whoop somebody ass that you always want to whoop their ass at. Is that on the on the global scale? <laughs> ass in front, you know the Whooping. what's that saying that that popular saying that everybody should know if they don't know? Mm-hmm. Do them dirty in front of their squad. Wasn't it said oh. by a uh, <laughs> uh, a rock lead, yeah, of course. There, there it is, go. yeah, rock lead. Yeah, there. there we go. Do them during dirty the, in front uh, of their squat. During the, I believe it was the during the tuning exam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and at the intro of the tuning exam, he beat Sasuke ass at the door. <laughs> he was like, "I'll fuck you and Naruto up. I'm not playing. We're, we're, doing, we ain't even registered yet. It's doing both dirty in front of they both. Yeah, of their it wasn't until he got into through the forest of death. You know, quick little side note that he mm-hmm. fucked up Gar in front of his sister and his brother. Both older. I beat your little brother ass, and I will beat no, y'all ass. Come down family. from the rafters. Watch what happened. That's terrible. You know that. You know we ain't gonna dive into it, but you know that's just a quote and the story backing up that quote as one of the greatest quotes. You know, yeah, I mean, they, you know, they, there. You know, they've been knocking each other off and Naruto and stuff. But speaking of knocking people off, um, football is trying to come back too, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they can. I'm not seeing the way, but you know they're trying. I'm very against that. I'm really against that. And I, why, let me tell why you, you why. against these these men for, trying to. For make one, it. I like football more than basketball because I played football a little bit, and I understand the He's the layout of it more. Hey. So I just want to let people know I'm not a hundred percent against football. It's uh-huh. just I I can I can read the plays more. I can see what's going to happen mm-hmm. a lot easier than I can with basketball. So with that being said. I also notice basketball, uh, football has a lot of fucking people. Yeah, exactly. How many people is it that's on the field? Uh, I mean, there's a 53 man squad at a, at a time. I think it's 11 v 11, so 22. 22. I'm not but 53 on the roster. Uh huh. We had 106 people right now. They on the sideline. We ain't even yep. on the line of scrimmage yet. 106 on people. Mm-hmm. Now let's talk about the coach. People, the mm-hmm. coach has an assistant coach. Mm-hmm. Are you a quarterback? Oh, cool. The quarterback gets a quarterback coach. The kicker gets a kicker coach. And the and assistant to the kicker got coach. A, yeah, they got assistant kicker and assistant quarterback. Oh, mm-hmm. you on the special team? Well, guess what? We got to cut a check for someone to be the special teams coach. Yeah. The punt returner coach, which I think they just some teams save money and make it the kicker coach. You know, Justin Tuck don't need a coach, but yeah, that's I mean, just it's just like special teams all in general. Yeah. Yeah. It's coaches and assistant coaches. And then you got media crew. Then you got, um, what is it? The public relations crew. They're there. Management. 
they owners, gotta, players, yeah. coaches. Yeah. The nigga who brings the Gatorade. They got us. They I'm got a lot done. of stuff. The to... person who sets <laughs> up the table for the Gatorade. <laughs> uh, yeah. Still not they got a lot Hold of. Hold on, Ted. <laughs> and the guy who, the groundskeeper, who puts the white chalk on the field. Mm. And the guy who fills up his machine for the white chalk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Go ahead, gotta, Ted. Now gotta, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, they uh, test them all. But um, yeah, I don't know how they're going to get it done. And. Hopefully they can because I need my football back. That's one uh, thing I am I, I am that. very missing. I, I don't I don't like that. I um it, it's just too many people. Like yeah. they can cut it down. I mean, yeah, they'll have they'll have to probably do something like that where it's like essential uh workers only or like essential staff only. But now we gotta call HR. You gotta figure out who it is that's essential yeah. or not. And yeah, because I'm gonna have something to say. Yeah, if I'm not essential, what, what the fuck? If my mean? quarter, if my coach ain't essential, you know. What I'm and saying? if I have to call HR, and now we got to get Goodell into it, he ain't a good commissioner. Now it's gonna be some bullshit. Now, yeah, it's it's, gonna, oh no, it's gonna be some bullshit. Yeah, exactly. I'm not for it. I I think I don't know. I'm just it. it ha- they have to figure out some type of way. You got to cut these numbers down. That's too many people mm-hmm. there. Uh, I can't think of a facility that can house that many people. If they were to do something like how the bubble is with the NBA, I can't think of a a building or an establishment that can house all these people and their families and have a a, a nice strict policy on like who can leave and why and yeah. check ins and all that. That it seems like a lot of work, and I just can't figure out how. That'd be set up, but if they can set it up, go go right ahead. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna try something. I don't. I personally don't think it's gonna come in time. Like I think mm-hmm. the season's supposed to start in like September or something like that. Mm. So I don't see how that's starting right then. But you know, more power to them. I need it. So yeah, y'all need to do something. <laughs> Hopefully, but yeah, football and baseball is back too. And uh, you know, I don't. I they can it didn't nothing happened nothing changed for me. I don't acknowledge baseball as a sport. I don't really watch that. Yeah. Sorry, sir. But yeah, you know, sorry, thank yeah. you know, good job. You know, y'all make y'all money. Do y'all? Yeah, but yeah. good, good work, good. guys. Thank you. I'm to good, the dugout. Though. To the dugout. Here we go. Home run. Hit a home mm-hmm. run on my uh, on my, my foul new, ball there. On my foul ball there. Third base. There we go. There it is. That, that's, that's that's how baseball is played. I think that's my baseball knowledge. I think that's about it. Babe Ruth. Yeah. That's it. All right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but, you know, it's going to be a struggle, especially for all these leagues trying to come back, uh, mm-hmm. trying to, you know, because, you know, these players ain't getting paid sometimes during this you know time. They yeah. get paid per game and they get paid when everything is active. So exactly. They try you to know that to this like, dang, I just bought the Lambo. I thought I was going to get paid. Oh, dang. You know what I'm saying? I mean, check ain't cut yet. It ain't cut. Dang it. Like, I'm not going to miss the pain. I ain't struggling, but like, I thought I would have an extra meal by now, but I'm payroll not. Payroll so. should be the first ones allowed back in any sport. Oh, yeah. Payroll. Yeah. That department. That's a the person that said that. We need that. Y'all good? Yeah. Hey, y'all, y'all need first. some water. Y'all need some water. Hey, get him. Yeah. Get them some water. Get, some, get payroll. Some mm-hmm. water. Go ahead, we got, we got. Picture. Yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. We got some ice for y'all, too. You Go ahead and put a little yeah, ice in yeah. there. You know, y'all are really the y'all. Are, it's I'm hot. The, it's hot I'm out here, y'all. I'm trying to help y'all. Exactly. Goddamn heat That's terrible. going on out here. Mm, yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Speaking of that, it's hot as hell in Los Angeles, California. I can tell it you is that right now. Super hot. Like this is. Uh, it's, it's 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 honestly torture. I mean, exactly. <laughs> no, I mean for real. Well, once in LA, it gets over eighty two or eighty three degrees. There's, there's over eighty two. Oh my god, that's unheard of. It's unheard of. We don't know what to do. My avocado is melting in the sun. Oh my god, no. My my toast. Do you no. see this? Do you see this? I need a refund. Like, no, it's serious. It's Today serious. I try to eat a chicken Asiago crunch sandwich and no, no, <laughs> no, melted. It was overcooked. Oh god, <laughs> it was just a chicken crunch. I mean, we need to know where uh, where we get this stuff from. So. You know, it's hot as hell. Yes. (laughs) And I can barely sleep. Anyways, it's just, 
it's a thing in law in LA, but you know, wherever you are, I hope you guys are staying safe. I think there's mm. a isn't there a hurricane in like near North Carolina or in North Florida or something? I know it, there's one that uh that was guiding that was going towards Florida, and I mm-hmm. think it it veered off to the right a little, so it might be in one of the Carolinas by now. Mm-hmm. But that was from someone telling me that back at work. So that had to be what uh, I can't even put a date on it on when I have hey, can't call that it. person. You can't yeah. call it. I cannot call it. <laughs> Flip the quarter and it land behind the dresser. I can't, can't call it. Can't call it. Can't call it. I have no idea what it is. But definitely, I hope somebody's able to go to sleep at night mm-hmm. during this. But, you know, speaking of those who can't or won't sleep at night. Uh-huh. Who's not sleeping at night? Heroes and villains ain't sleeping at night. Uh-oh. Let's what does that mean? It. What does that mean? See, people, we're, we're going to have a... This is going to be our first... Might be a bit of a heated debate. Just a guys. little one. Just, just a, a little, little something. Just a little. You know, it feel like the devil moved into L.A., so I got to put some fire on the damn podcast, too, right? as well. Exactly. You know? got to put the yeah. heat out. got to expel the heat somehow. So, so you know, let's just dive into it. Mm-hmm. Michael Phelps. <laughs> Usain Bolt. <laughs> mm, no, not that one. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so the topic we're facing today is uh-huh. which is the better company, mm-hmm. Marvel or DC? Marvel Entertainment, yes. Uh huh. I'm going DC. I think we've already established um, that Marvel Studios has pumped out the best quality. Uh, of the two um, going back to the culmination um, in the 1939 um, uh, issue uh, issue uh, 376 where uh, Wolverine uh, fights Octopus Monster (laughs) before he was Doc Ock (laughs) Octopus Monster that's terrible (laughs) no yeah definitely I'm a you know, especially now, during because I didn't read comics, comics and stuff like that when I was younger. But I always watched those movies. I remember that X Men movie vividly from back in the day. I think, I think it was like two thousand, two thousand three. When I just watched it, you know, last week. I think mm-hmm. I mentioned it last week that I watched it. In you know, I love, I love me some Marvel. You know, I love me some supers. My boys. So I'm gonna have to disagree with that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you you tell me, you tell I, me what what I DC, what the hell does DC stand for? DC Comics. I used to think it stood for Dark Horse Comics, but then that that's its own thing. That's a Nickelback album. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can equate them to that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if DC does have a meaning. Destroy communism. <laughs> could be <laughs> it really could be I mean yeah I don't know DC I, comic comics I don't know yeah I don't get it shit I think it's just DC comics honestly hey, Daryl Ch- and Chad I don't know yeah, they made it but it is. I I like Marvel I love Marvel mm-hmm. I feel like they've made some great movies great heroes Spider-Man, in my book, is the most beloved superhero. But when it comes to superheroes... I mean, at that point, where I mean, you just said Spider-Man, so I thought that was it. Oh, no, no, no. He can be the most beloved, but that's it. I thought that that's was about it. it. I thought that was game. No, nah, that, that ain't even it. I don't even... I don't constitute him as a, a true hero when it... If I'm going to compare him to DC heroes... No, here we go. Here, here's my thing. Here we go. DC has actual heroes, whereas Marvel has mutants, and I done got fucked up today. So mutants. I'm going to go make sure no one else gets fucked up ever, and I'm going to save them. Saviors. Yes, exactly. They save people. They ain't really. 
safe and shit like that. Spider-Man. They they not doing it out of the Spider Man out here was slinging webs on on skyscrapers. Spider Man was slinging webs through the cities of New York before <laughs> Uncle Ben died. Hey, hey he's hey. like, oh no, I gotta be responsible. <laughs> and that's when he was all like, I'm gonna save people and all that, but I'm yeah. still gonna save that bitch Rachel's number in my phone, you know, hey, just in case. You, just you feel me? Just in case. Hey, but yeah, on a serious Parker. note. DC has, for one, I believe they have some of the greatest heroes, and they absolutely have the greatest villains. And I also believe mm-hmm. your protagonist is only as good as your antagonist. Especially in, in superhero shit, yeah. Definitely. Yes. Um, When it comes down to that, you know, there, there's one person that I'll just bring out, if you like. Yeah, bring him out. We can talk about Batman. Oh my God! We can talk Here we about go. Batman. We can talk about. <sighs> okay, Batman. listen. I have deep feelings for Bat. Deep feelings about Batman. I can't say for the man. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I just wait I just before like you start. Him. Before you start, I just found out. This is breaking news. I didn't even notice. I just looked. Breaking news. Throughout the world, Batman is actually spelled G O A T. I didn't know that. Oh I did not know that. Trump fingers in the air, index oh and thumb God. clenching together. I did not know that. Oh my! I did not. <laughs> I did know not know that. that. I did. I. I'm with it. That's though. terrible. Hey, can't fight it. Can't you know, fight I it. mean, Go I ahead. mean, he could be. He can be considered that. I mean, white privilege is the biggest, you know, superpower in the world, and I abundantly agree with that. But you know, okay. me and Batman, me and Batman don't agree well. Now, Batman mm-hmm. does have the best movie. I'm not gonna cap on that. Batman has my favorite, third favorite movie of all time with the Dark Knight. But Batman in general, as a superhero, as a person, Bruce Wayne, all of it, I'm good. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. Like what? What are we what are we doing? No, I, not Bruce. Yeah, fuck him. I'm living, if I'm in, Mar- you know, if I'm, li- I'm, first of all, I'm living in New York. So Marvel, mm-hmm. they got real cities. Okay. First of all, you know, we in New York, we ain't in Gotham and oh, I'm in Metropolis. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Fucking the dungeon dungeons and whatever the fuck other places are. But anyways, yeah, I'm in New York. We in LA, we're in Bozeman, Montana. We're in real places. Okay. Over here in Marvel. Yeah. And we, we like to tell real stories, you know? We're, we're we're an ass god, okay? Do you know what ass god is? What, okay, what, <laughs> yeah, an ass god, okay. What no. real stories? There is the, no real. The real we tell real challenging stories about you know murder and um, revenge. You know, Hardly. a la Punisher. If you ever heard of that man, you know, yeah. He, Hardly you know, anybody ever gets murdered in these Marvel shits. All I mean, of them. I mean, tell you can tell that to Punisher's wife and child too. But you know, you see what happened to them, and you see what you see what he did. He, he went back. He went back and murdered. But that's one person. Oh, here we go. And well, I mean, I mean, if we're talking about one side, your you know your side got the the king of all. Oh, let's not let's not kill him. Let's just hold him, put him in Arkham Asylum. He should be okay. That's because he's so resolute in his way. I hate him. I hate he him. know. I, I don't. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I okay, I okay. So I agree with you with that part mm-hmm. on him doing that to Joker because it's obviously we're talking about Joker, Batman. Yeah, we're talking about Batman and Joker. Yeah, mm-hmm. terrible. But that is a testament to his own unbending will against his own self-imposed code. He didn't put no code. I mean, he didn't like have a code thrusted upon him by some higher deity or being he said i'm going to be better i'm mm-hmm. going to represent justice mm-hmm. and gotham which i like to think is detroit but question yeah who run gotham city because it sure as fuck ain't batman okay <laughs> i'm trying try to tell you that right now it ain't batman the man, the man is catching people. He's putting them in jail. They breaking out, and all of a sudden, Joker got people, two people on boats, okay, with bombs on it. What's going on? Joker out here getting people getting shot at the at funerals. What is going on, Batman? In the middle of the 
at a thing and you in your Lamborghini trying to oh on the way and saving I'm saving Detective Gordon's life. Oh my god. You know, but do you do you Batman? Just don't do it around me. He's okay? doing I'm, I'm moving. If I was living in Gotham, I'm moving. <laughs> He's okay? doing everything he can to save these people. He's doing everything he can. Yes. Everything about Gotham is horrible except for him. I mean, I move out of Gotham, and then what I do? I move to Metropolis, okay, right? And then all of a sudden, here comes Superman and Lex Luthor. They fighting. And then who I see? Batman, again. He here. Why is Batman here? <laughs> this, time he's, he's, here. this time he's has a bigger head, and his name is Ben Affleck. But still, <laughs> he's fucking here. And he's, like, talking about his mom and shit. I'm like, your mo- mom's name is Martha. What the fuck, Batman? You got to love your mom, no. You got to trying to. I'm trying to, I'm trying to your get, mom. I'm trying to get away from you, Batman. That's why I moved from Gotham. I'm out. I'm out of here. F you. No, you're trying to get away from the crime, but you can't get away from that crime. Mm, it's, yeah, going, it's, it's going it's going to be rampant. everywhere. It's it's everywhere in Gotham. It's going to be so everywhere. It's, it's going to be absolutely everywhere. But Batman is so good of a hero. He's trying his mm. utmost to to uphold justice. Yeah. I don't kill Okay. I'm giving them justice. Oh. You know, you you got if you want to talk about justice and like killing all y'all got a nigga the mm-hmm. fucking daredevil, the oh, I'm judge, jury, and executioner. And hey. I run around all get the girls and I kill done. anybody I he feel like done. fucking killing. He gets it done. Nah, that's the job who, is done. Mission accomplished. I can't no, see. who does who decides who gets to live and who gets to die? That's I only yeah, think but... one person in Gotham should die. That's Joker. Everybody mm. else, yeah, y'all can, y'all can go. Everybody court. else can live. Yeah, your your court date is on the twentieth, bro. You know, Mister Freeze, who can freeze the bars off the jail cell or whatever the fuck, <laughs> or a penguin who can you know be a penguin. Freeze ain't even that. He freeze ain't even a villain. That's a man in love. No, yeah, was it was with Poison Ivy, right? Nah, his uh wife oh. was Diane. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot her name, but she had some rare like disease. Yeah, I- so he froze her so she wouldn't die and he you know he is uh trying to find a cure but you know to do research costs money so mm-hmm. i got this ice gun and i'm all about ice i'm gonna go so rob a fucking do. bank let's do it yeah free i like to categorize mr freeze Strap as up. a person who won't he won't unnecessarily kill people but if you in his way he gonna fucking kill you like mm-hmm. nora that was his wife's name yeah see miss jones yeah, don't don't know why I didn't come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you know, Got I don't know. Nice. I mean, if we just and then let's just talk about the movies alone. I mean, Marvel. I mean, it's Marvel. What do you mean? I was talking oh. about Avengers. We're oh, talking about. For it. We're talking about um, Ant Man. Even though I didn't see it, we're talking about that. We're talking about Captain America. We're talking about. Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok is top five superhero movies. Top five. Top five. Uh, I don't know about no top five. See, top I can five. combat that with mm, Dark Knight. Top seven. <laughs> <laughs> you see how quick it went? <laughs> Wait, for Ragnarok? Yeah, top oh, seven. okay. Top seven. Dark Knight. Well, yeah, that's the best. Y'all got the best. I'll give it to you. I'm going to give it to you right now. I ain't even done. I, that, that's just one of them. That's it. Dark Knight. Mm-hmm. You ready for it? Mm-hmm. I hope you're ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm waiting on it. Superman. <laughs> and Watchmen. Ooh, pick up the green crystal. See what happened. Nah. Watch. Ooh, pick it up. Ooh, see, pick it you up. You don't get it. You don't get the 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 beauty in that. Bro, I didn't my, get it either. Because I don't like Superman, but I love the what was it? I think it was Superman Returns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, it's it's showcasing him. It's this is me before I was Superman. Mm. Let me Clark. show you my life. All that, yeah. And it's like he's always been Superman, but he he um his alias is Clark Kent. Mm. That's the one of the few things I like about Superman. He's different in a way that everybody else is like, oh yeah, I'm Bruce, I'm Wally West, and all that, but. You know, at night, I'm the Flash. I'm Batman. I'm this hero. And right. it's just like Superman is, no, I'm this dude that can, I can fuck this entire planet up. Yeah. But I'm going to hide in plain sight as this human. But I can, I'm, I'm only, I'm not really a hero like that because y'all, 
want me to be all like, oh, I saved the world. I'm a hero because this is just what I want to do for y'all. That's real superhero likeness right there. That's real. Now, you you ready for the Watchmen? I'll break down Watchmen. I'm re- Let me tell you about Watchmen. I didn't know that was DC. Uh, it's originally owned by a company by the name of Vertigo Comics, but DC bought Vertigo. Yeah. So it was all like, we going we got to get it. Let's get this veal. Let's raise it to a goat, and it's a goat. Let's get the veal. <laughs> so this is Watchmen is such a good movie, and, and a when good show get, apparently. Yeah, I, I need to watch that show, but. For the movie alone, it's beautiful. It's it's a great storyline. It's a uh, first of all, it's a world of doomsday, where I, I want to say the the Axis powers, America and Russia, basically, are at war, and we're we're both armed with nukes, right? Mm-hmm. So there's this doomsday clock, like, oh yeah, it's gonna happen. Fucking everybody's gonna blow up because we all got nukes. And in comes this person named Doctor Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Doctor Manhattan. I don't even want to break down his powers because it's a shorter description. If I say he's basically God, he can do whatever he wants, and he's just trying to, you know, figure out all the things he can do. He's learning more about himself. So throughout the movie, they're trying to find this person that's killing the heroes. Right. The old heroes, the Watchmen. And they can't figure out who it is. Dr. Manhattan is just trying to, I think he's trying to figure out himself more. And throughout the movie, he's he realizes he can see into the future. But there is a point in the future that he can't see past. It goes blank for him. So it's, it's weird. Like God can't see past, into the future now. Mm-hmm. He can't go no further than this one point. In time, and I think it's like he's just standing on the moon or something, and he can't see what happens next. Hmm. So, throughout the movie, you realize that the villain that is killing off the heroes is actually one of the former Watchmen. And I think his name was Ozzy Mandez or Ozzy Mandez. Mm-hmm. And his ability is he has genius level intellect. This dude figured I can attain world peace for us. If we make Dr. Manhattan the enemy, if I can blame this fucking blue man group Nick yeah. right here for cancer spreading, for the explosions, all these things like that. Yeah. Russia will hate him. America will hate him. The only thing is we can't beat him. Who can beat God? You can't beat God. You can hate him, but you can't beat him. Yeah, exactly. But in that hate, we're united together against a common enemy. Yeah, exactly. And he was with the, Manhattan. People do, the, people do yeah. that to this day in real life. Like, yeah, they'll find the one person or the, the group to scapegoat. And I, that's what I like about DC. They, they're more realistic. I mean, I know it's comic books and heroes at the end of the day, but mm-hmm. they add more of a, a relatable atmosphere to their they're stories. They're definitely like, darker. Yeah, and I, I enjoy that because it's just like the day doesn't end happy for everybody. We can't save her. Somebody, I always say this, somebody's going to get cancer. Somebody's daughter is about to get crushed by this fucking three-ton building that just fell. Yeah. It, it's going to happen, you know. But we yeah, saved a, a bunch of them, but someone has, something bad is going to happen. And it's an all, it's an everlasting cause and effect. And it, it breeds villains sometimes, or sometimes it breeds a hero again. Yeah. It's always... Some like, some type of uh route that they'll make from it, like you know, Batman and Superman. The Justice League is saving the world, but they're also creating horrible, tragic origin stories for upcoming superheroes. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I like that. It's like that's relatable. Like, oh, cool, your mom died, so that's why you want to kill uh Wonder Woman. Yeah, I want I would want to kill her too. Let's shit, let's go. So. That's why I say DC is overall better because mm-hmm. of their heroes and the storylines being a bit more realistic because they, they dive a little bit more into the the darker side of life. Like mm-hmm. there's some happy moments, but definitely. Yeah, there's some dark shit that, that balances that out. Like, oh yeah, you know, they got married. 
but they gonna die in three days. Yeah, but they exactly. married though. They they just gonna die in three. <laughs> they made it. One ain't gonna point. kill them. Yeah. They they just gonna die in three days though. But they married. You know they, you know happy life and all that. You know cool. You made it. You got married. Had kids. But you are gonna die in three days, bro. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. So so we'll, we'll see. I mean, I'm just I'm ex- honestly I'm excited to see what both of they the, them have to offer in the future. Mm-hmm. You know, going past Justice League, going past Avengers. You know, what are they, the new stuff they're going to be coming out with? Or and that are they going to be re- me, rebooting o- older things? So yeah, That brings I'm, me right back to Manhattan. I'm yeah, sorry I'm, for interrupting. Mm-hmm. So I was looking into Dr. Manhattan a little bit more. Actually, and a co-worker, he put me on to it. Shout out to Leo Reyes, you know, big homie. I want to see, it turns out Dr. Manhattan can't see past this point in the future. Because he ends up fighting Superman and he doesn't know if he'll win or lose. So he can't see no further than this fight about to happen with Superman. He doesn't know if he's going to die or not. He doesn't know if he's going to have a future to see into the future, if that makes sense. Yeah, I want them. I would love it if they would like expand on that more because I hate. No, I don't hate, but I don't like Superman. But he can beat a god now all of a sudden, or he can mm-hmm. go toe to toe with one. Mm-hmm. I don't, that's that doesn't make sense to me. But I would love to see how they would roll that out. Yeah, um, they making his, they making them uh, probably seem like he's stronger or something like that. Superman, yeah, he's a, an alien. <laughs> yeah, and it's like you know he's Earth's champion. Yeah. Yes. You know, shut up. Uh-huh. But yeah, I know they got they definitely got a lot of stuff planned mm-hmm. for uh the future, especially in new movies. I know Marvel's going into like what phase three, I think it's called, or something like that. Mm. The things just after Thanos and after all the all the big shit that happened after the billion dollar movies. Mm-hmm. But they they got X Men, and that's what I'm that's what I'm most excited for. I'm most excited for X Men. X Men is an excellent franchise. I'm so happy you're rewatching all those. Yeah, um, that's that's really what I like when I was been streaming this week. It's just mostly The Office and like X Men that I would I usually watch. <laughs> so, Question. but yeah, who's your favorite X Men? Gene. Gene's always been my favorite X Men. Okay, cool. Because she's the most powerful. Because <laughs> she, she win, fun. I win. <laughs> I'm going to win. Oh, this is game. <laughs> Logan and and Scott Summers are trying to get all up in that. They both are. <laughs> and she'll give him a little something. She'll give him a little crumb. But mm-hmm. you know, she keep him, she keep these, she keep them back. She keep them at bay. She mm. let them know. Let them know, Gene. Yeah. I can blow, I can end all this. You know, matter of fact, I'm about to kill y'all teacher. Yeah. Killed them in the wheelchair. Picked them up and killed them. Killed. 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 Not even just disintegrated, you know, but that's Gene. That's what she do. I'm mm-hmm. the Dark Phoenix. Don't watch that movie, by the way, but I'm the Dark Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. That movie's terrible. It is. Unfortunately, my bo- my girl Sansa did a terrible job, but you know, it's all good, mm-hmm. Sansa. We we here, you know. I'm not. And and pray seven blessings be to your daughter. Seven hells to you. Oh my God. <laughs> that's seven that's, hells. That's <laughs> Don't center that. The High Septon grants you Grants you fucking no clemency at all from the high septon. <laughs> you know, not a leader of sparrows will grant you something. Oh god, yeah. Here we go. Not the high sparrow. He's terrible. To the red keep with your bitch eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm just excited to see what they got on for the future, and hopefully they can. I um, can do something. Yes, do that, something that would big. be so nice to see. I would love if they give a uh, more spotlight to side characters. Um mm-hmm. My favorite character in X Men, or really Marvel, I will put him up there is Nightcrawler. But in my top five, I would almost say he's maybe my number two. Is a guy by the name of Maverick, mm-hmm. and I don't want to go too deep into a story, but basically, I love his power. So he can absorb what is it, kinetic energy, and redistrib- redistribute ah redistribute it. Mm -hmm. with that same amount of energy so you ever walk down a hall and you just keep hitting the hall uh the hallway with walls Mm -hmm. so if he keeps doing that that force that he's doing is adding up in his fist and if he gets into a fight and he hits you 
that fist that he that punch that yeah, he just like threw at you, of all them. it'll be a yeah the force of him fucking hitting the damn wall like 10 yeah. times so it's like i love that that is such a underrated ability to me like if he hits a hammer on the ground kind of like a, a black panther suit in the movies yeah it absorbs the shock and yeah. it can just redistribute it so that's his ability and i i like that shit it's like that's fucking amazing yeah, they both got. They both have a vast library of characters they could deep dive deep into. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Just, downfall is you got to give him ten minutes before he fight. You know, <laughs> fucking stop up. on the ground real quick. I got to charge up, charge me. Yeah, up. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see what happens in the future. Exactly. But um, moving on, moving on to the last, the last segment of the day, probably our favorite segment. Mm-hmm. The rant, the rant of the week. What, what are we ranting about? Rant. Who are we ranting? You want me to start, or do you, do you want? To I mean, I don't even, I don't remember who even went first last time. I think actually, no, I think I went last last time, so I can go first if you okay. want to. Uh, yeah, go right ahead. What's your weekly rant for the week, Ted? So, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I got to talk about this. But here we go. My well, my weekly rant has nothing really to do with entertainment. Honestly, it just has to do with the general public. You know. Pop. <laughs> right now, you know, we go into a goddamn pandemic right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so people are, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Pandemonium is spread through the streets. So people are, you know, being are a little antsy, I guess. But mm-hmm. the one mm-hmm. thing that you gotta do, you know, is just wear the damn mask, okay? Now that's <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you. I know I said it before. You wear, they've been telling you to wear it, and it's oh, I can't breathe. I, you know, so at this point, at this point, sir, I have a health problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Stay in the house then. If you got a health problem, stay in the house. If you don't, wear a goddamn mask. And if you got, if you need to shop for your cat, you know, fucking wear a mask. I don't give a fuck. Put it on. Now, my thing is, is when people come, you they wear a mask into wherever they are, Mm -hmm. and they're in the public place. And then they come up to you and they want to talk to you and then they pull the mask down. It just defeats the purpose at that point. The mask is supposed to be there when we're supposed to, when we can't social distance, when we can't be six feet apart. They, that's that extra layer of protection. Yeah. Why you pull the mask down for you to talk to me? And, and you now all your droplets are coming out and they're getting right on me. Wear your mask open and don't, and don't pull it down under your nose. Oh my God. Wait, hold on, because I do. Wait, I'm, I'm I wear glasses, so yeah, you gotta just get make it tight. You gotta get it tighter to get it to not it make it f- fog up your glasses. Because yeah, oh. that happened, and don't like yeah, bring it down below your nose, and mm-hmm. oh my, just wear it, keep it on, and everybody's going through it. Everybody, it's it's inconvenient. I get it. Oh, I get it. I have to wear it at work for hours, mm-hmm. but you know, hell, do you want to die? Okay game jesus christ i don't think people understand that's the other option like, that's the other option you can die yeah like honestly if you choose that option cool just don't come to me yeah they need to have a uh, like a don't come to nobody i know big ass press release from dr fauci and them just say yeah. hey you ain't got to wear the mask your just other tra- to people. choices jesus. you can die you, you can you can go die exactly you know. ain't no one stopping you from that go ahead and go die yeah, that's just my rant. I'm just, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the chin covers, the people pulling their mask down and putting it under their chin. I'm just tired of it. Just put it on your face and take it off when you get in the car. Mm-hmm. And like, that's it. I mean, I don't get it. Just keep a mask on, people. Jesus Christ. Especially when you're inside. That's a good rant. That- but that's that was for me. So what, what do you got, Ed? What do you got for me? Mine isn't as intense as that because it isn't really about general population. It's not about the public health crisis that we're currently facing. Nah, mine is. Uh, hmm. Mine is about the legend of Korra. This is the thing I was going to touch back on. No, bringing it back, foreshadowing, yeah. fucking yeah. plot devices in this motherfucker. Exactly. Big English steaming class, six pile of foreshadowing earlier around the what eight minute mark of this podcast. There it is. But this is the thing that I have with The Legend of Korra. It's not that bad of a fucking show, people. It, it isn't that bad. Mm. You 
we should be so happy that they created three more seasons of these men and women bending water, earth, bending. fire, wind, and in special cases, backs. Shout out <laughs> to the homie Saka because he was bending all these bitches' backs. He had Ted, you don't even know. He had a, a earth <laughs> tribe, bitch. he had a water tribe from the north. Oh, oh my god. And he had a fire nation girl that was all like he cute. He can get it. He had all that. three nations on lock. On the lock. fourth one is air, but you know, they were extinct. But the other three, he was all like, I got this on lock. What are y'all talking about? I'm I'm a backbender. I'm the only one I'm of the, my kind. I'm the back, I'm a backbender. That's terrible. Yeah. He had a what was her name? Ty Lee, I believe, from the Fire Nation. The one that can I don't even want to say what she can do because you haven't seen it yet. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he had he had holes, okay? Oh, yeah, he did. So I just say that to say that, like, to further say it's entertaining to see this again. I loved seeing how they would use the elements. I loved how the elements were described as far as, like, personality and emotions. Yeah. Like, you have to be stubborn and unbending like a rock. Yeah. Or it's you have to... If it's just you're meeting deep, diving, resistance. Yeah, yeah it's just diving more details into the world. Yeah, of Avatar. and it's like, yeah, like I, I love that. That was what was that? Two more years of Avatar. Exactly. Yeah. Because I enjoyed uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender, but now when they brought the Legend of Korra, I was like, this is what's up. I kind of didn't want it to end in the first place. I understand it has its place. Uh, it has an ending. You know, it needed to. They were wrapping it up, but for them to bring a, a second one. Granted, mm-hmm. it's not as good as Aang. It's still fucking good. There's still some good plots. We're talking more uh, detail into the spirit world. I get to see pro bending fights. Uh, mm-hmm. They added in some like modernization with the industrialization. So instead of riding llamas and shit, they got actual cars. Oh, it was like yeah. So I'm like I'm with it. They had metal benders. They they showed the yeah. So you the evolution of everybody. the world, especially yeah. if you're like a fan of the world and the characters in it. Exactly. It's just to, to show the evolution and the what is going to happen in the future is always exciting. yeah. They show who had some kids who end up you know who established themselves what they did in the future. Yeah. What they doing now? You know, I'm not trying to ruin anything for you. That's why I'm trying to keep it as vague as possible. Because it's Quickly real vogue. good, but. Hmm. A lot of people trash it. I've heard because oh, it's a woman, and you know she oh she's going through this era where like she yeah, wants to date Mako and shit. Like yeah. who gives a fuck? She's bending water and air. Exactly. I want to see more of that. I like seeing <laughs> the fights. I love seeing when elements are being used into shit. It's some of the best shit I've ever seen. You know, it's all oh, Aang is not there anymore and all that. And it's like okay, well Ted, you already knew that, so that's why I'm saying that. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. Nigga dead. Niggas die, okay? That's what Niggas happens. Niggas die. He did his job. Let's move on. Aang was amazing. I mean, he's like, isn't he like 200 and something years old or something? Yeah, he was 110 years old in um, Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, I mean, he can die. You know, stuff happens. Yeah. Niggas die. We're, we're dead. But he did his job. He stopped the war and he kind of brought back airbenders. It's fun. I love seeing it. I've I've yeah. heard all of these things for the longest. This might be a rant that I've been wanting to say for the longest because there's been a lot of hate. No, I can I can definitely attest. Yeah, to that. like Cora ended a, a while back, but mm-hmm. now that we're doing this podcast, yeah, I'm here to say it. The Legend of Cora is not that bad. I've seen worse spinoffs. I've seen worse sequels. Mm-hmm. Legend of Cora is very good. I recommend it. Ooh, it's enjoyable. Recommendation. It's funny. Yeah. Hell yeah. I enjoy the hell out of this. This is it's amazing. That that's my thing. That's my thing. Y'all leave Cora alone, okay? <laughs> leave her alone. <laughs> leave Cora alone. So yeah, that's that's just my rant. That's my whole thing right there. Well, yeah, I can see that. I mean, yeah, I can see how people why they be um talking bad about it and why it you know, always gets his random hate, and uh, I don't know. I didn't, didn't get it why, but yeah, that makes mm-hmm. sense. Exactly. But um, I think yeah, I think you think you did your little episode. You do you did your uh, rant. Think that's about it for uh, this that, week. Yeah, this installment of the uh, Ted and Ed show. This has been very good. This has been very 
there. Yeah, that's you, a good one. You know, tell us what we what you think about it. Um, always comment and send us, you know, anything anywhere you can um, get at us on social media. Um, yeah. Like we always ended. My name is Ted, and um, my Instagram and Twitter and everything should be all at the Ted Mosby. Uh, T H E T E D M O S B E E. Two E's at the end. So um, yeah, follow us and uh, keep up with us. Uh, keep up with our Instagram. We should be posting way more on there this week um, at Ted and Ed Show uh, mm-hmm. on Instagram and Twitter. And, and where can my, they find you at? My uh, good question. Very good question. Mm-hmm. My username for Instagram, Twitter, everything, and Twitch, PS4. Mm-hmm. You know, get at me. Get these hands. Get these hands. Is these hands at Dead Nemesis. That's D as in dog. E D. N E M E S I S. Um, it, if you have any problem with spelling that out, even after I just told you the info about it is on the bio of our podcast. Yeah, so link in bio. Yeah, so please hit us up. Any topics you would like us to talk about, any um opinions of your own that you have, I'd love to hear them. Oh, yeah. So I yeah, please hit, hit us up. I would love to hear back from you guys. I want to thank everyone for the support again mm-hmm. okay we've been yeah, like i said at the beginning we've been seeing numbers and these numbers yeah. have been coming through good so we only exactly. you know, we, we can only go through up from here yeah, exactly exactly and fuck sakura so you know in conclusion <laughs> like thank you guys thank you guys all for for listening i we appreciate the support i appreciate the messages i got um if there's any topics you guys feel like we should talk about, I can't guarantee it will be on the next one because we kind of have a schedule and we already got a lineup of things, yeah. but it can be included. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no turning down a a topic that's exactly. worth debating about, you know? Exactly. But yeah, just stay safe out there, wear a mask and, uh, you know, do you, do y'all. Exactly. <laughs> All right. We'll catch y'all next week. Catch you on the flip flop. Peace out. Later.